Greetings, people of YouTube! Ducky Creepers here, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Not the demo, because I am definitely not an imp important enough person to have gotten that. The full game. He dropped it. Out of nowhere, like, two minutes ago, at the time of me recording this. I'm so hyped for this. God. I will- I promise I'll shut up while phone guy, or surfer guy, is talking, cause I've seen- I saw Markiplier's video, but other than that, I know nothing of this game. So needless to say, I also don't really know how to beat Springtrap, I guess that's what we're calling Golden Bonnie now. My name is Springtrap, if you didn't see that easter egg, it was in one of his Steam messages, and it was a hidden message, my name is Springtrap. But if you haven't seen that, you've been living under a rock, so... I don't know where you've been. Anyway, I'll shut up. We'll play... Local amusement park, getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, featuring actual relics from the decades-old pizzeria. So, yeah, horror attraction based on the pizzeria. I'm gonna play two nights in this episode, because, um, the first night, as I understand it, is just exposition. Hey, hey, I'll shut up now. Night. Show I the cameras. Promise, it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then pass you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner, but you'll also corner. be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings... Puppet mask on the right and there. ...and foxy head which we think could be authentic, then again, it might just be another crappy cop. This foxy and head? we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Boo. <laughs> uh, Boo. But, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Okay, thanks, Bruh. I was trying to go around the cameras and be as helpful as I can to help you guys see things. One thing I've noticed is it's really hard to see Springtrap. I'm gonna call him that until further notice, because it's easy. It's really hard to see him when he moves around. Like, I had a really hard time following what was going on with Mark's video, which means I am probably all kinds of screwed right now, but it's okay, because that's, that's great, you know? I'll figure it out. So yeah, that, this night's basically exposition. There's not actually anything running around right now. You can just look around. Which is why a lot of people, including myself, think there might actually be ten nights, which would explain the ten and the... Balloon Boy spoiler that was dropped last night on Scott's website for those who saw it. If you haven't, it's on r slash FNAF since Scott's website is down. Or not r slash FNAF. Um, 
whatever the name of the subreddit is. That's what I type in Google to get to it, because I'm not an avid Reddit user, but I did use Reddit for finding stuff with this. Um, like, there could be ten knights in this game. That's what people think, and I think they might be right. So now if I'm correct, here should be an Atari game. Yep. These are super quirky. Um, so Shadow Freddy or Purple Freddy should show up now, but I don't really want to follow him because I kind of know what happens by now, as do most of you probably, because really, who's going to see this before watching Markiplier's? So I'm going to try to explore as much as I can. Uh, B, B, D, B, L, click. Can I click it? B, B, ready? I'll try typing it in. Nope. I tried, I actually tried entering that as it is, but nope. No cigar. So, is this the restaurant from the first game? This looks like the security office. It's got the fan, so I'm assuming that's what you were supposed to think. What's with all the mice? Okay, so we should be in East Hall corner. East Hall. What's what are you? Okay, you're another mouse. Th my movement is super limited right now. <laughs> all right. Um I'm not sure where else can we go really? Yeah, I know I'm supposed to follow you. Okay, so this is back at the show stage. Um, Bonnie and Chica are up there. That's good. Anything interesting over here? Don't glitch out. I want to see this place. Bonnie, are these, oh, is this backstage? This has to be backstage with all the spare parts, like Bonnie heads and things. Um, okay, this looks like Pirate's Cove. Interesting. I don't see Foxy, but... I think that's most of the restaurant. This definitely seems like the restaurant from the first game. Correct me if I'm being stupid, but I don't think I am. So now I guess I'll go follow him to where he's at and get murdered by purple guy. Ah! I thought I had to go into that room and get the error messages before that happened. I guess I was taking too long. He got angsty. And just walks through walls. Okay, purple guy walks through walls, everybody. Hey, man, okay. Confirmed. Awesome wow, the movement looks all, kind of glitchy when you move all, left and right. That. That's kind of strange. Like By the way, a thing like I discovered? Case, that works. Like I'll shut like up that. now. Already? Fuck you, phone guy. That works. To move him. Or call him toward where did you play the audio, I guess? So, it seems like he'll come kind of toward where you play the audio cues. So, 
I mean, this is pure speculation. Ah, shit. Get out of the camera. I don't know if there's any way to wind this any faster. Are you, are you good now? Shit. Where is he? Hi. Where'd he go? Hello? Spring trap. He's not over here, is he? Okay, good. Ugh. This is intense. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try to narrate my strategy as I find it as best I can, since obviously this just dropped, so no one really knows what's going on. So, um, you can seal vents to stop Springtrap from passing through the vents and into your office, if you know where he is. And you can also play audio to possibly summon him toward where you p p play the audio- Gosh. Ah, You can play Balloon Boy's voice to try to get him to come to where you play- No, don't do that again! I can't tell if clicking faster helps the reboot- <laughs> No! That is not okay! You are not doing that! Hello? Oh, the- oh. <laughs> What? What? Okay. Phantom Balloon Boy- How do you deal with the phantoms? I don't know how you deal with the phantoms. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. That's not okay. Try again, I guess. How do you stop that from happening? Because Phantom Balloon Boy just- shows up, and fucks up your face, and then Springtrap did as well. Hi! Alright, you good, you go there, um... Okay, I'll try to stop you from pulling any shit with that. Hi. I'll call you over here. Okay, good, now try sealing this one. So, yeah, your objective is to keep him away from any place where he can get to you. By using a combination of vent locking and balloon boy scrubbery to hopefully keep him from causing too much shenanigans. Is he in the vents? Hello? Hello? Yeah, that's right, hello. Don't be in the vents. Don't be in the vent. I thought you were supposed to be sealed. I'll seal this one just in case. I have a very poor concept. Concept. I can't say words. I have a very poor idea of what I'm doing. I know next to no strategy, so. You guys, I feel like just watching is gonna be more helpful than anything. Because I don't really know how to explain this very well, because I'm trying not to freak out. God damn, there, I got jump scared. You guys happy? I'm sure there were a few people who wanted that. If anyone cares about me. Uh, where the f fuck did you go? Hello? Hello? How do you, how long do these seal temporarily? Where the fuck? Where's he at? Doesn't help that you can't click back and forth between cameras very rapidly. Okay, he's over there. So let's seal this one. Hi. I don't know what he looks like when he's in this room. I can't even see where he's at. Half the time. Ring trap. It's night two. I don't need your sh shit. Hi. Okay. Ah. This, did, he, did he come in there? I have no friggin' idea. Wow, the amount of time it takes to reboot these things. Okay, you good? Okay, so rapidly clicking definitely does not seem to- Really?! Okay. I'm gonna try to seal this vent. 
maybe call him over here if he's anywhere near there. Hopefully not be dead again. This is giving me anxiety. I... How do... How am I supposed to handle that? Somebody tell me in the comments if you have any idea from what little you've seen of this game how you deal with Phantom Balloon Boy, or any of the Phantoms, because I know there's going to be more on the later nights. Where the fuck... Is he over here? I do not... Oh, hey. What's up? What's up, bro? Alright, that's good. You're over there. Um... Can you stay over there? That'd be great. Hello? Here, maybe you'll come over here? Do you want to come? No, you don't. You're- you're- you're chilling over there. That is totally okay. The camera pulses do make for interesting transition because he can move around while you're looking at the camera like watching him's not gonna stop him from going ah! that was the mangle how do i all right you all saw that right that was the mangle phantom mangle i was expecting a jump scare I don't know what that was about. That's not cool. You wanna come over here? Nah, you are perfectly good chilling over there. Shit. Really? You're gone? Where the fuck did you go? Oh! He's in the vent. He's in the vent! He's in the vent. Right? That's how it works? Did I do that? Correct? Hello? Is he gonna eat me? He's not gonna eat me. Yet. Hopefully. Hello? Wow, this is the most intricate horror game I've played. I don't know about you people, if you have it. If you don't have it, I would highly recommend you get it. Yeah! Nailed it. Somehow. Okay, I'm gonna upload this one unedited because the public needs all the game footage they can get right now. <laughs> and I only died once, so it's not like a huge deal. Um, so now we're Bonnie. Going through the same sequence with the purple guy. It's the same place, so I won't explore again. Um, Phantom Mangle, I haven't seen anybody get. If you guys have seen anyone else get that one, then tell me. And prepare for jump scare, because this- Yeah, there he is. Purple guy comes and kills you in that Atari thing every time. Anyway... Thank you guys for watching, leave a like if you're as hype as I am that this game is out, because holy crap, this is awesome, like, I thought the first one was good, this is a whole new level. Anyway, thank- yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!